welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a little finishing up crafting. It's a crafting part two. <laughs> Tell y'all about that here in just a second. Also just kind of come on here and say Merry Christmas and I hope y'all had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. Long story short, on my last video I left y'all with a introduction to a craft that I was doing. Well, it was a complete failure. Complete failure. And it's a funny story to it, actually. I wanted to do some whipped faux toppings, you know, for like Ray Dunn mugs and, and whatever mugs. And I wanted to do some with y'all. I wanted to decorate them. And, but not just that, I also wanted to make some colored ones, such as green and red, and also like some chocolate ones. I mean, I just thought for my little marshmallow cup, She's right here. I got them on Amazon, which I will link them below. Um, these little marshmallow little cups. I thought they need some like little whipped toppings. I wanted to make some fudgy ones. After I got them all piped out and they're sitting there drying, which that's where I left y'all. My husband come home and he took one look at them. He said, Sheila, why is there a bunch of poo on our dining room table? But he said it for more, yeah. more of a colorful language, so I'll let y'all be the judge of it. So there was little mounds of brown, like, whipped toppings, and so it did look like poo, so I could not bring y'all that. I mean, it was hysterical. I laughed, I was crying. It was terrible. But anyway, I'd scratch that. I had to redo it, and needless to say, I'm not going to do any brown ones. I'm going to do a red, a green, and of course, the white one. So today, I'm going to finish up that crab for my little marshmallow little mugs and also for my Ray Dunn mugs. So this here is a round two of the craft and I'm so sorry for leaving y'all hanging. I just had to go get more spackle and get it all done. And so I've already got them piped out, which I will kind of bring y'all up to date here in just a second. I will kind of interject what I, what I did do to mix it all up. So I'll kind of bring that video part to y'all and then we would get to decorating these little whip toppings. But my sincerest apologies for leaving y'all hanging. I'm so sorry, but I had to let them dry. Then the Christmas week is upon us, so I had to do a lot of last minute details for that. So please accept my apology for not having a video up for y'all. It, it is what it is. But anyway, so I had to regroup and I got it all done. So let me bring y'all up to date on what you're gonna need for this project and let y'all see how I show y'all how I got them all done, and then we'll come back and we will finish decorating. Okay. Show y'all we're gonna need for this project. Just a few things, it's not a lot. I do recommend you go and get you some foam sheets. Now I picked this one up at Hobby Lobby, and if you can't, or you, I'm sure Walmart or every other place sells foam sheets. The Dollar Tree sells them. If you can't get any foam sheets, then what you're really gonna need this because you're gonna be actually tracing the top of your mug, the top of it on these. You'll be cutting them out. So if you can't find any foam sheets, go get you some cardboard and I put a piece of wax paper over it and I kind of tape the bottom of it because you don't want it to stick really good onto it. So you're gonna be needing some foam sheets. You're also gonna need some spackle, of course. Make sure you get lightweight spackle. This is a 32 ounce container I've purchased at Lowe's Home Improvement. I paid around seven dollars for it. Uh, this one, please make sure it says lightweight. Uh, you don't want no other kind. Now, also the Dollar Tree sells is identical brand, and but it's in the eight ounce little cups. Walmart sells it. You can't go to, you know anywhere like that. Uh, I'm sure there's other places that sells it. You're also going to need some piping materials. You're going to need, of course, your piping tips. Um, a lot of people use the 1M, and it looks something like this here. Now, I did use this, but I also used this tip. As you can see, it's a 1, uh, let's see, this is the 1C. I really like the way this one looked when it came out, so you pick the tip you like. You know, it doesn't need to be these two, not necessarily. If you want something different, by all means, you use your own. I have bought, purchased this tip set right here from Amazon. And I purchased this one here. Hang on, let me see if I can get it here. Ugh. I purchased this one, had a large variety of tips. You, and I will link these two in the description box. So if you wanna buy these, you're more welcome to. Um, great, great quality, by the way. You can choose your own tip to, you know, to pipe it out. You don't necessarily need those, those ones I, I told you about. 
Of course, you're going to need some piping bags. Uh, these are some disposable ones. Uh, these are the Wilson brand I got at Mark Michaels. It's a 16 inch size. They come in a variety of sizes. So if you want to get some small ones or large, it's totally up to you. Let's see. I got, actually, I did get some reusable ones with one of those kits and I loved it. So you can reuse them or you can just, you know, use these little disposable ones because I don't, you know, washing it all out and all that's messy. So if you want to use, I just get you disposable ones. All right, and you're going to need, also, um, also you're going to need some paint of your choice. Um, you're going to be mixing this in with your spackle because the spackle does have like a grayish um, appearance to it on this brand. Now, there is another brand out there that's more bright white. So, if you get that brand, that's fine. But if you want that, if you wanted a really pretty white, I would recommend some acrylic paint. I don't want to do it that way. I learned by using gel food coloring, it worked so much better. So I picked up these little sizes right here at Hobby Lobby. I got them in the green, red, and white food coloring. Um, if you don't want to do the paint route, get you some food coloring. I learned that this here is not as heavy as the paint and it worked much better. So just an insider tip, food coloring was your will be your best friend on this here. So you will be at, uh, getting your food coloring to mix in your spackle. Thing that you will be needing, you'll be needing something to mix it with. Now I did. Now I've got this little offset spatula here. Uh, it's kind of beat up, and I'm not going to be using that no other way. Um, I just use this one to really get down in there to mix up my spackle. So find you something to make a plastic knife or whatever you have, or some other old spoon. Of course, it will work. And then, of course, you're going to be needing stuff to decorate it with. Um, I'm going to be using some cinnamon sticks, some paper straws. I got these. I'm going to be using these little sugar sugar pearls. I got these at Walmart. And you're going to be needing some paints or whatever thing you want to be. Uh, maybe if you want to. Uh, put a little something else in there. It's whatever you want to uh, get to decorate it. It's totally up to you. Of course, just let your imagination run wild on that. And I think, my friends, that's it. Um, that's going to be it. There's just very few items that you'll need actually the core ingredients that you're going to be needing for this project. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of take y'all back in time, let y'all see how I mix everything up. I mixed up all my uh, colors for except for the brown. <laughs> I'm going to show you how I mixed up the white, the red, and the green, okay? So when we come back, I'm going to be decorating uh, the other ones that I made, okay? All right, see y'all in a bit. I don't know if the camera shows it well, but it does have a grayish tinge. I'm going to add some white food color to make it a more brighter white. As you can see, it's still light and fluffy and it's got actually get a more of a fluffier uh, texture when you really whip it and with that food coloring it got rid of that gray color it had now it's a pretty white I hope the camera shows it but it's it's still super light and fluffy and it's got like a gray is gone it's still i'm still gonna mix it up a little bit more and now we're going to take this and we're going to add into our piping bag. We're going to pipe it on our little cutouts here. Now, since I've got it in my piping bag, so I'm going to get a couple of my little circles here. So again, you just kind of twist it all the way to the end where your tip is. For y'all y'all decorators out there, don't scream at me. <laughs> and uh, you can see the tip right there. I'm using a uh, 1C. This is larger and uh, it's really close to the 1M, but I want to see how fluffy this looks with this tip. And the good thing about this, y'all, if you don't like it the way it comes out, Scoop it all, and put it back in your bag, and start all over, or any back in your bucket, whatever you want to do. That's the good good thing about this; it's very forgiving, <laughs> so you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so let me see what this is going to look like. I'm going to try to 
just go around in circles. That's pretty. Here's another one. That's pretty. This one here is a little crooked, so I'm going to go back in the back in my bucket. we do all that it's time to decorate let me bring you a little bit closer and we will start decorating my whip toppings okay hang on okay when it comes to decorating now whatever you want to do i want to make it look like i'm going to have some chocolate fudge uh, on the top 
So I went to Michael's and I got this puffy paint. Now the reason why I chose this puffy paint because it is like a 3D paint that kind of like brings um, out from it like a puffier appearance for the paint instead of looking all flat and running off. It will kind of stick a bit better. So I got it in black, white, and I did it in red just in case I want to use that. They didn't have the uh, the Tulip brand in the red, so I got the Scribbles. Uh, I prefer the Tulip Puffy, but it's all good. And what I did was my little whip topping here is one. Of, it looks like looks really really pretty, huh? And I took my black one and I just went around and around, and I actually wound up looking like this. And I thought that looks just like fudge topping, and it looks so cute. So once you put it on my little marshmallow mug, is what I call them, it wound up looking like this one right here. Let's see if I fix it. Let me, okay, there we go. And that and that's how we got it. And that looks so adorable. I love this, it is so cute. So since that was one like that, I thought we would do another one to get. Let me, let me shake this up real good. Right. And I like the way the little point is. It's a little bit better control like that way. So I better put it down. And so here is I'm going to, well, let me get it back on this little thing here. Okay, here we go. I put it back on his uh, little foam sheet. That way it won't go all over the place. So the, the puffy paint does seem to like, I mean, like hold or it's, you're putting it out better than like regular paint. Might be a little too much, but I think it looks adorable. All right, and here is what it looks like. Oh, just like chocolate fudge, huh? All right, and so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take my little pearls. Come here, you. I could just do it that way instead of worrying about these little tweezers, huh? But give me an idea here. It's so cute. And so when it would now this is of course after it dries. It looks so cute. I love it. Now I probably went a little heavy handed on that one with the chocolate, but it is, but it ain't a big deal. I'm not worried about it. But here is how it will look when they're on there. Okay, let me see. There you go. That's so extra fudge, and that one is a um, light fudge. <laughs> they look so adorable, huh? All right, let's do a big one. Okay, here is one like this here, and this one would go on the top of my big mug. And look back on here. Okay, now I did get, I did make a red one, and then I made a green one right here. You can see. I did put a little straw in this one. Now I did make some green ones. Here's one. And I wanna to choose to put, put a cinnamon stick. So I did kinda of make sure the hole was open big enough. 
So I put a cinnamon stick in there. He looks so cute. All right, you guys, well, that's it. And here, what we got. And after I put some chocolate fudge on this one the right way, uh, I got this one decorated. I put my little sugar pearls on top. And then his one here, I just went a little light with the little chocolate fudge. And I think they look adorable. Now, this one here, you can see the little sugar pearls on top like that. Now, on the other ones, the green one and red one, I'm just going to kind of just leave them alone and just have them just plain with the little red and white little straw here. You can see. Looks cute. I, I wish I may get some, you know, some spray shellac or something to make it a little bit shiny because I know it's a little dull red, but I think it looks cute. So, I'm just going to leave that one alone. I like that red one. And then... If I wanted to do a green one, you got one like this. And I did put one little sugar pearls on the top. I got to let dry. That's why I'm trying to be real careful with it because it's a little wet. But that's what it looks like. And I did put a cinnamon stick on that one. All right, you guys. Well, that's it. Um, I'm going to keep messing around with them. And then I'll, you know, juice them up, whatever. But I just wanted to bring this to a clay to show y'all what I was doing with last week's craft video to now. So I'm just gonna keep on messing with it. And then, but the thing about it is though, if you got a lot of mud display, especially your ray gun, and you wanna make your little bow with toppers, and it's for the season, imagine doing yellow ones for like spring, and that'd be a great, or even like red for Valentine's, and going on and do some light green ones, uh, or any color you want for the season, so you can decorate your, your mugs however you can. go ahead and call this one done. Now, next week's video, I don't know how much I can bring y'all, because I'm going to be doing a little uh, vacation, bringing in the new year in the mountains. <laughs> so I may do some vlogging on that, okay? So I'll try to bring y'all that video footage and maybe on my Instagram or something. So if you're not following me on Instagram, please make sure you do, okay? All right, you guys, well, I'm not sure after that where we're gonna start, but we are gonna be going right into my office slash beauty room. So we're gonna be doing that coming up, okay? And then plus taking all this Christmas down. It's going to take a while to get all this done. All right, you guys, well, that's it. I hope, hope, hope you'll have a great rest of your weekend. And if you're still celebrating Christmas, I hope it turns out great, okay? All right, well, I'll go ahead and wrap it up. Thank y'all for all the great comments, by the way. Now, we'll get to them as quickly as I can, okay? All right, you all, well, until next time, sending all of my love from my home to yours. Happy decorating. Bye-bye. <laughs>